Imami came out with its numbers yesterday and it was a fairly decent set of numbers. Uh, came in line with expectations, 13% higher on sales and profit up uh, 35%. Uh, good going also in terms of margins. Uh, NH Bansali, CEO of uh, Imami Group, joins us on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Bansali, what uh, uh, is the sense you are uh, making of the winter months, which is really your strong months? Uh, can you guide us in terms of what may be the sales and margins? Yeah, winter is yet to set in. In fact, it has been delayed because of the longer monsoon, which has uh, been extended. Mm. Uh, but we, uh, we expect if the winter sets in properly, then our Boroplus and all the winter products, lotions, Boroplus, Seven Brush, all are expected to do well. And that would uh, drive this uh, uh, drive growth consistently in the coming quarters also. Okay. No, and can we get a number? Uh, what, what are you targeting by way of a full year sales? Uh, we are targeting, uh, see, uh, we, I feel that we would be able to achieve a growth of around 13-14% for the full year mm -hmm. and for it, in the same level of around in the next two quarters as well. Okay. Because the, sale, or it, the overall market has moderated, FMCG sector has moderated and I feel we are in line with that moderation. And within that moderation, the, the growth uh, is intact. In fact, all, all the brands have strengthened their market position today in the market. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mr. Bansali, uh, you did sound uh, cautious at your conference call yesterday as well where you scaled down your revenue guidance. Uh, what about on the margin front itself? Uh, do you think uh, commodity price pressures could sort of hit your margins and uh, you would see levels of below this 21% mark that you saw this quarter? You rightly said that we had uh, moderated our projections for the whole year. We had earlier expected uh, 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 revenue growth of around 17% or so. But looking at the market, the, the market has slowed down for the FMCG sector in, in all. And uh, uh, we have grown uh, in, in both, the, both the quarters by 13%. So we expect this kind of a growth to continue going forward. Uh, but the good thing is that we have been able to strengthen our uh, market shares. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's a mechanism of the mar market category which has not grown. But within that, we are very stronger. So on revenue, we feel that 13-14% kind of growth is, uh, is something which is achievable for the year. Our margins, our gross margins has, has increased substantially during this first quarter and second quarter also. Going forward, we feel that the gross margin would uh, continue, uh, would, would grow by uh, around 300 basis points on a, on, on a yearly basis. All right. uh, that, is, that can be expected. All right, Mr. Bansali, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining us. So improvement in margins, but tepid sales around 13 to 14%. Uh, let's.